Cardiff University, in collaboration with the National Cyber Security Centre, have developed a procedural memory task which can be used as a tool to investigate the effect of different types of interruptions on an individual's performance. This task is known as security. We often experience various interruptions while at work that have been found to increase the incident of action slips. These can have detrimental results, for example, sending a confidential email to the wrong person or including incorrect information in an email. So what does the security task involve? Security is a task aimed to resemble an email you would see in real-world work and it sets out to identify the consequences of being interrupted while sending this type of email. As you can see, the email used in this task contains realistic information about health, well-being, finance and includes demographic details of staff and students. The aim of this task is to make decisions about the contents of an email following the acronym SECURITY before pressing the send key. Participants must make decisions consisting of two choices at each letter of the word security. So let's talk through each step and the choices to be made at each letter. Starting with S. S stands for whether the recipient of the email is a student or an office worker. This is determined by the greeting of the email. It will either be a student number or a name. So for example, in this case, the participant must press S on the keyboard as the recipient is a student, identified by the presence of their student number. The letter E stands for what time the event in the email is scheduled for, determined by AM or PM. If the event is scheduled for the evening, the participant will press the letter E, and if the event is scheduled for the morning, the participant will press the letter M. In this email, the questionnaire needs to be returned by the morning, so participants would press the letter M. Now we move on to C. Is the CC or the BCC field occupied? So the participant would either press C or B. In this case, the CC field is occupied, so the participant would press letter C on the keyboard. For the letter U, the decision is, is the email urgent, highlighted with the use of a red exclamation mark, or is the email of low priority, in which case there will be no sign? So in this case, there is no red exclamation mark, so the participant would press L on the keyboard to indicate low priority. For the letter R, we are looking at whether the email is a reply or a forward. So the participant would press either the R or the F key on the keyboard. In this case, you can see that the email is a forward, so the participant would press the F key. For the letter I, we are looking at whether the email is an invitation to an appointment or a questionnaire, so the participant would press the letter I or the letter Q. In this case, the email is asking the recipient to return a questionnaire, so you would press the letter Q on the keyboard. For the letter T of the acronym, we are looking at whether the name of the primary recipient is Tyler or Wilson. So the participant would be required to press either T or W on the keyboard. In this email, you can see the email is addressed to wilson25 at cardiff.ac.uk. So the participant would press the W key on the keyboard. And finally, for the letter Y, we are looking whether permission to share is granted. In this case, it says permission not obtained, therefore permission to share is not granted. The participant would therefore press the N key on the keyboard. While participants are completing the task, they will experience interruptions at random intervals. Every interruption is in the form of a password entry task, where there is an arithmetic question to answer. Here we have an example of an interruption someone might see in the security task. These interruptions last for 10 seconds and participants are required to answer as many password tasks as possible within this time frame. However, it is important to note only one type of interruption will occur within that 10 second window, either easy, moderate or hard. So what were the main findings and conclusions of the security experiment? Well, errors about the decisions themselves were extremely rare both before and after an interruption occurred. We also found people didn't usually make mistakes. They used this acronym to help them remember all of the steps. Participants also tended to respond in order, even when not explicitly told to. When people were interrupted, they were a lot slower at finishing the email and were more likely to forget where they had left off and do steps over. Overall, this shows interruptions make you less efficient, slow you down and disrupt your overall workflow.